Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Sunday evening. It's almost nine o'clock at night. Um, we just got the kids to bed. And I thought I would film a Sam's Club haul for you really quick. I got home like at seven, but it was hectic. It was dinner time. So I put the cold stuff away and thought I would just come back and do the haul for you after they went to bed when it was quiet and I was done with dinner. So all of this was $227.68. Um, I renewed my Sam's Club membership today, or actually I got a new membership. My membership expired um, and they had them on Groupon, a year membership for $25. So I just purchased a new membership. Um, so I got that today. Um, I went looking for a specific chair for baseball season. It's like a hammock swing chair and the Sam's Club closest to my house was out of it. So I'm going to have to either order online or try a different location um, because they said they had it in stock like on their website which I know isn't always reliable. So I needed things obviously anyway, so it wasn't a total waste of a trip. I obviously found way more than I needed, but I thought I would jump on and show you guys because it's been quite a while since I've done a Sam's Club haul. Um, I still need to go to Costco maybe one day next week, but I'm not sure now that I obviously had this decent sized trip if I'll need to go as soon as I wanted to or not, or maybe I'll hold off and go in another week or so. So we'll start down at this end. I have some pears. This is a five pound bag. I've been on a pear kick lately and these just looked so good. So I grabbed these. We love the halos. So I had to grab more of those. I love the clothes at Sam's Club. I'm a huge Costco fan. You guys know that. I also really love Sam's. Um, my best friend asked me one day, she's like, why do you like Costco more than Sam's? I don't know if I would necessarily say I like it more than Sam's. Um, I just grew up going to Costco. We didn't have a Sam's Club where I lived growing up. So it's not that I'm necessarily that I favor Costco more. It's just that I'm not as familiar with Sam's Club as I am with Costco. The one thing I do love about Sam's is it seems like their clothes are cheaper. Don't get me wrong, you can get a lot of good deals on name brand clothes at Costco and I never think they're overpriced. They have amazing deals and I love them. But I love the Members Mark brand at Sam's Club and I also love that they carry things like Hurley and I know Costco does as well, but it seems like their Hurley and things like that is a little bit cheaper at Sam's. Let me know if you guys feel like that's the case where you live as well. Um, but I got Aniston, all my kids need summer clothes. So that was the whole point of today. My mom and I went to a Dillard's clearance center looking for summer clothes for the kids. I love to shop deals and get good deals. And I found an okay amount of stuff, like not a ton. They definitely need a lot more, but I found a few things at Sam's. So I got this super cute shirt for Aniston, this little pineapple, you can flip it. She likes the shirts like that. I decided to move up and get her the six, six X. I've been buying the four fives in the members mark. Um, and so I thought I would size up that way. She could grow into it over the summer. I also got this cute one. I thought this was like a cute little, I don't know if you want to call it tie dye. And then it has little sequin stars. And then the boys both needed swim trunks. These Hurley swim trunks are only $9.98 at Sam's Club. And they had like four or five different styles or different prints, I should say, to choose from. So I got these from for Cohen, as you can see, if it'll focus. Maybe uh, it's not focusing. The MSRP on these is $38, you guys. That's insane. So I love Hurley swim trunks. We usually always grab those whenever we go to Sam's um, at summer when it's summertime. So, and then I got these for Jackson. These were also $9.98 as well. So highly recommend going there for swim trunks, swimsuits, all that good stuff. All the stuff you're gonna need for summer. I got these fiber one brownies for Chris and myself. You guys know we're doing WW and these are only two points on our plans and it's perfect because it tastes like a real brownie. They're so delicious. Um, I wanted to order some of these from Walmart with my grocery order last week and they were actually sold out. So I went ahead and just bought the big box at Sam's. A lot of you told me because my kids love the Belveda sandwich cookies with the chocolate in the middle that Sam's had these. And every time I went, I would check and I never saw them. Well, I finally found them today and I was so happy. So I grabbed these 25 packs of two and this was under $11. So that's a great deal. I got some fresh broccoli. I already opened it and we had some with dinner. So that's why it has the clip on the top. I got some skinny pop butter popcorn frozen salmon. Um, as you guys know, it's baseball season for our family and we are crazy busy. So quick and easy dinners are a must and salmon is so easy on a busy night. I can do it in the air fryer, put it in the oven, so many different things you can do with salmon. So I grabbed more of that. I got more of the Dan and light and fit yogurt. I usually just get this at Walmart. It's obviously a lot cheaper to get it at Sam's 18 cups for, Oh, I want to say it was under $12. So really good deal. Um, because I think I usually pay for something for a four pack at Walmart. So I grabbed these. Um, my best friend, when she went a couple weeks ago, saw the two good yogurt, like the little yogurt cups, the same size as these and the two good brand, which I also really like. But when I went today, I did not see those. So I grabbed these. 
Pop chips, these are another snack that we can have on WW. Each of these is only three points per bag. So that's a pretty good deal and it fixes your pop or your chip craving, your pop craving. It gives you a chip fix. Um, and so I figured these would be perfect for Chris to take um, with his lunch to work, things like that. I'm a huge chip fan. I would rather eat chips over anything salty, chips, crackers, things like that over sweets any day. So I thought this would definitely give me my chip fix when I need it. More bread for school lunches. We've got some chicken breast here. Um, this is almost six and a half pounds for $11. So I just need to go ahead and get this separated. I'll probably wait and do that tomorrow. Um, this is five pounds of ground turkey for $10. So there's two and a half pounds in each of these. Um, and then I went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the freezer because I also got some ground turkey on sale at Safeway on Friday. So I don't quite need this yet. I'm gonna go ahead and separate it and freeze it. Bubble fruit, if you guys saw my grocery haul from Walmart, last week i believe it was i bought the bubble fruit i think it was only a four pack for jackson well for all the kids to try but jackson really wanted to try it and he absolutely loves it cohen he won't try it he's not a fruit cup fan he does not care for them at all so he has no desire to try them aniston i think she would really like it she just hasn't tried it yet so a lot of you said that sam's club had it because i had seen on tiktok that people were finding it at costco um, and so I had it on my list for Costco and I thought, you know, what? I'm going to check Sam's club. A lot of people were saying like, oh, Sam's had it as well. And sure enough, they did. It was like seven something for 16 cups. So a lot cheaper than getting it at the regular grocery store. I also got more of our favorite diet green tea with citrus. This was like under $9 for 24 bottles. Love this stuff. The mixed berry. A lot of you said to try the mixed berry. We got that with our last Walmart haul, I believe it was. And the mixed berry is absolutely delicious as well. French toast sticks. These are a favorite in our house. You get two resealable bags. There's 50 sticks total. They're delicious. Some strawberries. I was hoping for um, a little bit more fruit, but ours, it was kind of picked over. They're also remodeling our Sam's, and I think that that's why. I feel like the produce, sec the produce section wasn't fully stocked like it normally was because they're actually in the middle of a, of a remodel. So I did grab some strawberries. These Thomas English muffins, they're only 100 calories and they are a multi-grain. They're so good. I want to say they are three points for one on WW. So these are great for a breakfast sandwich. Um, we love them. And Jackson eats a breakfast sandwich like almost every day on a school day. He goes in phases. Like now that I have the French toast sticks, he might eat those like for a few days and be off his breakfast sandwich kick. But last week he had a breakfast sandwich, I think almost every day before school. All I do is I make a sausage patty. I'll add a piece of cheese and a fried egg and he loves them. Sometimes he just wants sausage and, che sausage and cheese and no egg. So I grabbed these. Tomatoes, um, I wanna do that Greek salad with grilled chicken again, probably someday this week. It's a quick, easy, light dinner. So I grabbed the cucumbers for that. These were on sale and then the tomatoes. Some spring salad mix. That way we can have some chicken salads for lunch this week. And then I got a couple different kinds of lunch meat. This one's for me to try. I think Aniston and Jackson will like it as well. Chris is not a spicy fan. Um, so it depends on exactly how spicy this is, but buffalo style chicken breast. And then I also got honey roasted turkey. And then um, one thing that I do not have sitting out that I bought was the Chobani flips. They had a pack of the Chobani flip yogurts. I want to say there was either 16 or 18 of them in a pack and my mom wanted to buy them for her house and they were on the bottom of the cart and she went through and paid for her stuff first and the lady was like oh was the chobani yogurt on hers i said it was but just throw it on mine so that's one thing that i don't have shown here i left that at her house um but they did have i will show you she brought a couple um for jackson because he's obsessed with them it had four different flavors in it so this was one of them cookies and cream there was also a s'mores i believe a cheesecake and shoot what was the last one there was a fourth one i can't quite remember i want to say was it the key lime pie no that was in the dan and lighten fit that i got i'm not sure i'm sorry guys but it looks tasty and then last but not least toilet paper it was like so surreal to be in there today and see like it's been this way for a while it's not like this is a new thing in arizona but i kind of laughed to myself because i was remembering when i first went to sam's club when Everything was first happening with COVID um, and you had to wait in line to get in and it was so crazy. It was so hot out and I waited in line. I was hoping for toilet paper and it was gone and I didn't get any. And I was kind of semi freaking out. Like, what are we going to do? Like, I can't find toilet paper and paper anywhere. I can't find it online. I can't find it in any stores. Like, what are we going to do? And I remember I was like so bummed over something. So, you know, over toilet paper, you, th you would have thought I was trying to score like the toy of the year. So 
it was so nice today no lines sam's club wasn't crazy packed and they were fully stocked with toilet paper paper towels like all that kind of stuff i mean i'm even able to find clorox and things like that in stores now so i hope the same is happening for all of you guys but it was just kind of like a wow like it has been a year of dealing with this like it's so crazy to think like it just feels so surreal sometimes but i just wanted to jump on and show you guys everything i got at sam's club today you already know that when i do make a costco trip i will film it for you guys and post the haul but i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and get all of this put away um i might actually divide this up instead of freezing these now i might divide this up since it's two and a half pounds each mm, maybe i'll leave it we'll see i'm not sure um and then get all this stuff put away and i still have to pack the kids' school lunches for tomorrow and chris's work lunch so i hope you guys all had a great weekend and i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy thank you guys so much